So we're already on the road for this one. I've literally got no time to spare. It's getting late, it's getting dark, and I just wanted to get out there. So hi, welcome to the channel if you're new, and welcome back if you've been here before. Pretty cool one to be fair, as I say. Just wanna get out, do something. It's been a long week, so I'm heading down to somewhere that I've never been before in my life. It's the Cotswolds, a little nature kind of area in the middle of England. Should be pretty cool. I've been checking out the park for night app again to see where I can stay. I'll show you a little bit about that now. So the park for night app available on the app store and essentially what it is, you can search anywhere in the world and it will give you parking locations that have been recommended by other people. So I'm heading out to a place called, and I'm actually heading out to Broadway Tower which is here and I'm going to be staying because I've looked already in this little spot called Snows Hill. So I can go on that parking location. It's got a varying degree of pictures available to check it out. And then also if you go further down, you've got the exact location. And then you've also got a number of reviews. And this location in particular is getting a majority of like four or five stars so so having used the app looks like we've got a pretty good spot for the night with good reviews so i'm happy for the location and as i say i've never been here before to the cotswold so i don't know anything about it i've done a little bit of research and i found a pretty cool place that we can visit with a nice sort of hiking area nothing like derbyshire or the lake districts as the cotswold is generally a flat area but still should be pretty cool and still should be a pretty cool night out. Just getting out of the norm and camping out in the wilderness a little bit, so to speak. Pretty much everything's packed and ready for tonight, but the one thing that I haven't organized is the meal for tonight. I haven't got a clue what I'm gonna be cooking, so I figured I'd just stop quickly at Audi and try and pick up one of their meal things for tonight. So let's go and do that, and then we can head out down to the Cotswolds. looking like a good one beef teriyaki and noodles for tonight's meal then more importantly it's about a two hour drive from where i'm at at the minute to the coxwells location so i think it's about time we hit the road so let's do that closer we get to the Cotswolds, the greyer the skies are getting, the storm clouds are a gathering. Oi. Well, it's all looking nice and green with lots of little farmland around. Pretty flat like I anticipated though. Chipping Camden. Oh, very good. Never ever heard of it. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be cool. Oh dear, I'm driving too slow for somebody. Aye, 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 they must know the road. It looks like we're nearly here, but I don't see any tower anywhere. That's a little bit strange. Turn left onto A44, hey. then you will arrive at your destination. This is go straight for Broadway Tower. Oh, this is a, whoa, bit of a gnarly road. Come on, dude. 
Let's go, let's go. Thank you very much. All right, let's see if we can get over a Broadway tower, yeah? Straight on. Tower storage. Uh, this is kind of random. Continue on Backle Street for one and a half miles. Even the sat-nav doesn't know where I'm going. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, this is bad. Stuck and lost in the middle of the Cotswolds. We're just sheep for company. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I don't know if you see it, but there's a big old castle tower thing over there. I think the sat nav's gone a bit mad. But I'm gonna follow my instincts. Oh, this could be bad. Oh man, the gates are shut. What the friggle? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, that don't look good. What's going on here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You do what? I'm gonna do a sneak here, and I'm gonna pop a little bit here. Oh man, I hope that's all right. Maybe I'll pull in a little bit more. You'll do. I'm only here for an hour anyway. All right. Check it out though. Looks pretty awesome. Nice. I'm gonna get the drone up and see what we can see. So this is not the destination for the night. This is just a destination for a little bit of countryside and a little bit of fresh air. It's about half past six. So I've got a good three, maybe three and a half hours worth of light. And the parking destination for the night is only about 10 minutes down the road. So even though the clouds are rolling in a little bit, I think I'm going to be able to get out for about an hour and have a good hike. So we'll get the boots on and we'll go get some fresh air and check out the tower. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm surrounded by barbed wire fence here. I don't know how I can actually get in here, but I'm gonna trek up towards that gate, see if there's a way in. Let's go take a look. Oh, oh what? Ah, happy days. Ah, oh. no drones. Ay, ay, ay. It's the perfect spot for flying the drone as well. What a nightmare. I really wanted to uh, I really wanted to get the drone out and get some shots of it, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, I'm not going to lie. This thing looks pretty awesome. Especially in its location. Wow. Broadway Tower, the Cotswolds' highest castle, looking pretty darn spanking. Pretty authentic and really well kept, to be fair. Obviously, I can't go in there. It's all locked up and closed. It's half past six at night. The gate's closed, the castle's closed. But this is probably going to be the point where I'm going to throw a few clips in and tell you something about it. So let's do that. So Google tells me that Broadway Tower is a folly on a Broadway hill. No way, it's another folly if you've seen the series before. We've got one in my city and it basically means that it was a tower that was constructed just to look beautiful and for no purpose. I'm definitely going to be putting these videos under the educational section on YouTube. It's near the village of Broadway in the English countryside of Worcester and it's the second highest point of the Cotswolds after Cleve Hill. The Saxon Tower was the brainchild of Capacity Brown and designed by James White in 1794 and finally built for Lady Coventry in 1798. One awesome fact that I found out about this tower is that you can actually see 16 counties from the top of the tower. One of them being mine, Leicestershire, so that's definitely a thumbs up in my book. I like these little benches in memory of people. We've got one here, look, but this is particularly cool. In memory of the much loved Rita Colley. Take a pew and enjoy the view. <laughs> That's sweet. And it is a pretty sweet view as well. So, like I say, I've never been here. I've no idea what's around here. A uh, little bit limited on Google to find out exactly what's around the tower. But, um, looks like there's a few trails we can check out. Probably goes around the country park or something. I think it's about 50 acres of land. So, uh, let's go check it out. One bad thing though that you probably won't see is there is a massive, massive storm cloud coming my way. So let's hope it doesn't open up all over me. Well, it's fair to say that the weather's not being kind to me again like it was 
a couple of episodes ago and like a couple of episodes ago have left me waterproof coat in the car but it is nice to get out in the countryside and at least I can say I've had a wander around in the Cotswolds well I'm not gonna lie this is not really the hike I was anticipating I'm now going through some woodland area and there's no freaking trails I don't know where I'm going I'm just trying to avoid the rain at the minute I think and I'm pretty sure if I'm not careful I'm just gonna slip my butt all the way down this hill so let's take me time well managed to splice my hand up a little bit coming down that hill but I think it was worth it the view here is spectacular even with a cloud a little bit of ray of sun coming through really nice reminds me of Braggart Park back in Leicester in my hometown I think we got grouse in the woods Loads. Well, I'm not too sure, but it looks like there's a bit of a trail up here, which is the way I think I want to go. But uh, it doesn't look too welcoming, if I'm honest. And, ah, oh, jeez, God, I'm all hooked up with brambles. Ah, oh, that went through my jeans. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, screw this way. I'm going to try and backtrack and find somewhere else. Ah, oh, it's on my butt. Well, it's not always fun and games hiking around in the countryside. With rain comes shitty muddy trails hey nice all right let's head down it and not slip Oy. so there is method in my madness i'm not just wandering around here aimlessly there's a little thing i used to do with my kids as an app on the play store called geocaching and essentially what it does is give you gps locations of little containers that you can come to open up sign and they normally have a few trinkets in there here's one here i'm not going to open it up but it's a plastic container inside but the good thing about it is but even if you don't do the geocaching, you can use it to find trails and areas around places that you just don't know. It's got a really good trail map on there. And if you link it to each geocache, you can probably navigate around an area pretty cool and say that you visited it properly and explored it nicely. Saying all that, I think I've had enough of wandering around here in the rain. So I think what I'm going to do is like have a quick cup of tea under the trees and then head back to the car and down to the spot for the night. So let's go ahead and do that. So I spent two hours wandering around this country park, not really looking for these red deer, but it would have been nice to have found them. And here they are at the entrance as I'm leaving. Epic. But they are beautiful. Well, I wonder how friendly they are. I don't want to spook them. <laughs> beautiful though. Oh man. Yeah, maybe I'll stay back. That one's got some pretty big antlers. Nice. Looks like the car's still in one piece anyway. All right, let's get dried off. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty cold and wet from the rain and from hiking in the middle of nowhere, getting lost and sweating it out. I've got to get these wet clothes off. Right. Ooh, I'm not going to lie, that tower looks pretty impressive with the sun just popping off at the side of it. What a nice little spot. Cotswold. Ooh, so that was a pretty good hike all in all. Nice to get out and check out somewhere that I've not been before. And also, if you've not already, maybe if you've got this far in the video, consider subscribing. For those of you that are regular to the channel, you know I've been talking for a while about getting a bed in the back. Well, little secret, I've actually got a bed in a location ready for me to go over at some point in the next couple of weeks and carve up to get in the back of the car. So hopefully in the next two or three episodes, we're going to have a full bling set up with bed, lighting and a whole shebang. So as I say, if you've not subscribed already, and then consider doing so to follow along with the series but it's about half past eight i think it's probably about the right time to move down to the location for the night i don't want to be there too early so we should get there about nine o'clock let's get on the road and go and find out what it's like so i've got my fingers crossed about this location no idea what it's going to be like i hope there's either going to be like just a couple of camper vans in there or hopefully nobody at all and it's safe for the night but i guess we're just going to have to wait and see Oh no, denied on an uber level, oh my goodness. 
well that doesn't look good but I have just passed another little car park with a couple of camper vans in so I'm gonna spin it around and head back up there looks like the that's the spot for the night whoa almost passed it no way pretty cool right we got one camper here on the right I think that's what it is wanderlust no way cool uh, I'm gonna go over near the bin I think what oh man this car park's got a few cars in though it's a bit random at this time of night I think they're abandoned well not abandoned but oh another another van pulling in I hope it's uh I hope this place is okay So, I'm not going to lie, it did look a bit better when I drove by. I'm not entirely sure if this is the actual car park I'm supposed to be in. Um, I think it was through that gate that's locked, but this looks like as good as I'm going to get. I'm not sure that camper van is actually a camper van, and I'm wondering what these other cars are here for at half past nine at night. Maybe they've just parked them here overnight, I hope. But uh, I've got no other option. This looks like a way of where I am for the night, so we'll make the best of it. I'm going to get out show you what it is and then uh we'll set up for the night another van's pulling in now no way check it out uh it looks like a camper van so should be all right i don't know where it's gonna go it's weird they look like tour vans they don't look like camper vans <laughs> right next to me man what the friggle he <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Ooh, I might be a bit close at the back. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to open up, but I'll have to move. But uh, that looks all right. A couple of campers down the way. Looks nice. I'm not sure about these cars over here, but uh, oh well. <laughs> right next to the clothes and shoe bin. Ooh, all set up for the night. And I'm hoping, even though it looks quite fancy, that tonight's meal is going to be relatively simple. It's literally two things. The fried noodle and uh, the steak and vegetable. I bought the noodles because, look, on the picture they got noodle. So I got noodle as well. Rightio, let's get it set up. I like these packs because everything's prepared for you already. Just got to cook it up. Ay, ay, ay. Well, that looks fantastic and it smells awesome. I'm not even going to bother putting that on a plate. I'm just going to eat that out of the frying pan. So let's find out how it is. The inaugural moment of truth then. Steak teriyaki with fried noodles cooked in the back of the car. Is it any good? Oh, that's awesome. Right. Time for a mover. Come on, let's go. Move on. Move on. Now, let's go. Oh. 
Band of Brothers. Brilliant series. Ah oh dear. Well, chocolate mousse for pudding and a pretty decent spot for the night. I think the camper van down the way's popped his lid up. So it looks like they're definitely here for night. Which means it's probably going to be a pretty relatively safe, quiet spot. So I think all that's left to do is munch my chocolate mousse and probably the second one. Finish watching me Band of Brothers episodes and then head down for the night. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Oh my goodness. I've completely slept through all my alarms. Uh oh. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh dear. Oh, all my days. I can't believe I slept so long. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I slept through all my alarms. I slept through the rain and I slept through a constant movement of traffic in this car park. Pretty, pretty heavy night's sleep to be fair. And uh, it's cold this morning. The weather's not great. And I thought I'd picked a relatively quiet spot, but this car park, just constant traffic since I woke up. In and out, in and out, I've been awake about an hour. The road doesn't stop the cars going by. Not a quiet spot, I thought it was, but it's not. And I was just thinking about this trip. It's been kind of a random one. It has been pretty good. It was great to just get out for the night. A little bit of under planning, but nice to get into the Cotswolds. Never been here before in my life. A relatively good spot for the night and a nice steak teriyaki. And as always, I think this is probably going to be a good point to end the episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, maybe hit the subscribe button and definitely hit me in the comments. I love reading all your comments. And as always, take it easy, enjoy the camping and stay stealthy. Fingers crossed. Happy days. Oh.